Kodak has been emptying my bank account faster than my crypto investments. How am I gonna have any money left for flannel shirts and folded beanies? Every time Kodak increases their prices, I fold my beanie one more time. The next time they do it, I swear it's just gonna explode. Being a film photographer just isn't viable anymore. Kodak Portra 800 is like over 20 bucks now per roll and on back order for like half a year. At this point, it's not even funny anymore. I have other hipster obsessions to fuel, like overpaying for mint vinyls. If you take the price of a roll of film into consideration, let's say around 16 to 20 bucks for a roll of Portra 400 or Portra 800, then add the cost of your lab for development, scanning and getting the prints, you're looking at an additional 12 bucks or so. Now suddenly you've spent 30 currency units on 36 photos. Oh, and surprise, all of the photos are underexposed because your ape brain trusted the light meter in a camera that is three times your age. You just spent almost a dollar per underexposed photo of your friends. And the best thing is, when you show the photos to your friends, they'll go, ew, no, I look horrible in those photos, and you'll slowly die inside. Do you people have any idea? how much these photos cost me. Well, luckily, I'm here to fix all of your problems. That number we just calculated, the price per photo. That's what we need to cut down as much as possible. Okay, first off, you're gonna buy some black and white film. Yes, I know you wanna shoot color, just give me a minute, okay? We could buy some expired film to save money, but that's like eating gas station sushi. You know it's a bad idea and you'll be disappointed because all of the results have a heavy brown tint. So we're gonna buy a new film. We could of course buy some classic black and white film like a roll of Ilford film, but they aren't the cheapest. Foma Pan is the best friend of any broke film photographer. But we're not gonna buy these tiny rolls. We're just gonna buy 30 f***ing meters of it. That's like the length of... 200 hot dogs for you Americans. You're gonna buy a bulk loader and force feed 200 hot dogs worth of film into smaller film rolls so your camera can eat them, uh, I mean use them. That'll give you 18 or more rolls with 36 exposures for a total of 648 photos for the price of about three rolls of Portra. But of course, we still need to take developing and scanning into account. You're gonna buy some delicious- nope, nope, I take that back. For the love of God, please don't drink it. You're gonna buy some beautiful Sinistal DF96 mono bath, which costs about 19 monetary coins and is rated for developing 16 rolls. But you can stretch it a bit for those 18 rolls. The great thing is, you just need this one chemical cocktail and you're ready to go. No need to mix your own chemicals and develop in separate stages or anything like that. Now buy some basic developing supplies. Develop your film and boom, you've made art. Congratulations! To force your friends to look at that art on Instagram, you still need to scan it though. Scanning yourself is definitely the best option. After all, you enjoy film photography, so obviously your time is worth nothing. Just use your digital camera to scan the film. If you don't have one, sucks to be you, <laughs> but I respect you going full hipster. Use a tripod, some form of light source, some macro rings between your lens and the camera and off you go. Have fun with the next month of trial and error until your scans turn out acceptable and you've tried every negative conversion software out there. Luckily, because this is black and white, the scanning process isn't nearly as error prone as with color film. Now that you've scanned your images, there they are in Lightroom. But yeah, let's say you maybe don't want all of your pictures to look like a high school art project and maybe want to add some color to your work. Luckily, the amazing research field of artificial intelligence allows us to use deep learning to colorize historical black and white images. Well, your images aren't historical, but we're just gonna pretend like they are and hope the AI overlords don't notice that. There you go, colors. And the amazing thing is, if we take into account the 200 hot dog long film for 47.30, the chemicals for 19 Monopoly dollars, and your time that fortunately is worth so little that you end up owing the film strip money for scanning it, we end up at a final cost per photo of just over 10 cents. That is an improvement of 4 billion percent. Okay, I just made that up because I didn't want to calculate it. But that's probably cheaper than charging the batteries of my mirrorless camera now that electricity prices in the EU have pretty much doubled. In this calculation, we of course didn't take into account all of the stuff you had to buy for this to work. But this is my video and I control the narrative, so I'm just gonna quickly move on so you don't think about that part too much. You've done it! I'm proud of you. You've tricked the system. You single-handedly beat capitalism and are now in control of your entire creative process while spending 6 billion percent less money. 
All you had to do was increase the time you spent on developing and scanning film to a part-time job. You and your financial assets are no longer in shackles controlled by Kodak's and Fujifilm's price hikes. You have achieved what no one else could achieve. You are an idol for any that dare to follow in your footsteps. You are the ultimate analog hipster. Okay, thank you everybody for watching this video. Don't take it too serious. I'm a big fan of film photography and I just wanted to make something that at its core reflects the state of the analog photography space right now. But if you're actually sick of film prices and want to support me so I can continue to make whatever the hell I just made, <laughs> I have recently created a set of Lightroom presets for replicating the dreamy analog look. You can get them for just $5 at the link in the description. That's like a third of the price of a roll of film, so yeah. If you want to support me, that goes a really long way. <laughs> also, here's another video of mine that is, in my completely biased opinion, really good. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.